Hi, my name is Kunal. Today I'm going to show you how you can extract data from Slack to Amazon S3 using Amazon AppFlow and run sentiment analysis on the conversations calling Amazon Comprehend from Amazon SageMaker Notebooks. Amazon AppFlow is a fully managed integration service that enables you to securely transfer data between software as a service or SaaS applications like Salesforce, Marketo, Slack, ServiceNow, to name a few, and AWS services like Amazon S3 and Amazon Redshift in just a few clicks. Here, I'm going to demonstrate how you can extract conversations from Slack using Amazon AppFlow to Amazon S3. Then I will call the Amazon Comprehend, which is a natural language processing or NLP service that uses machine learning to find insights and relationship in text to detect sentiments of the text. I will be using Amazon SageMaker, which is a fully managed service that provides every developer and data scientist with the ability to build, train, and deploy machine learning models quickly. To read the data from Amazon S3, call the Amazon Comprehend API to detect sentiments and visualize it in, in Amazon SageMaker notebooks. So let's dive right in. Let's start with creating a Slack app that will help us connect to the Slack workspace and its channel to extract the data. We will need the client ID, client secret, workspace URL from this setup process for setting up a connection on Amazon AppFlow and transfer Slack conversation data to Amazon S3. In order to do that, navigate to api.slack.com apps. Make sure that you're signed in to your workspace. Click on create new app, enter a name, click on the drop down to select the development Slack workspace, click create app. In the basic information screen, scroll down to the app credential section, make a note of the client ID and the client secret as you'll be needing those when you're trying to make a connection to the Slack app from Amazon AppFlow. Scroll down even further to the display information section. You may enter a short description and choose a background color of your choice and click on save changes right at the bottom of the screen. In the basic information screen, scroll up to the section where it says install your app to your workspace expand on that, you'll find that you need to add the permission scope. And OAuth permission scopes let you specify exactly how your app needs to access a Slack user's account. If you navigate to the Amazon AppFlow user guide, it shows the user token scopes which are supported. So click on the permission scope, scroll down, to the scopes section. Under user token scopes, click on add an OAuth scope and keep adding all the user token scopes that are supported. As you can see, I have added all the user token scopes that are supported. Now scroll up to the redirect URL section and click on add new redirect URL you will find the format for the redirect URL in the user guide section as well. Replace the region with the region of your choice or where, whichever region you want to create the app flow. In my case, it's US West 2, which is the Oregon region. Add and save the URL. Finally, install the app to your workspace. It will ask for your permission. Just say allow in order to allow the installation. In order to start consuming the data from Slack, we first need to create a flow. In order to do that, navigate to the AWS console and to the Amazon AppFlow console, select your preferred region and click on create flow. Enter the flow name, scroll down, click next. 
choose a source. In our case, it would be Slack. Click on connect to create a connection. In the connect to Slack wizard, enter the client ID, client secret for the app which we created earlier, and also the workspace URL. Scroll down, enter a connection name, and click on continue. Once you click on continue, it will ask for your permission to proceed further. So click on allow. Once a connection is created, it will show up in the choose Slack connection dropdown. Then choose the Slack object. Next, choose the Slack channel from which you want to consume the conversations from. In the destination details, since we are writing to Amazon S3, Amazon S3 would be our destination. In the bucket details section, I will choose the Amazon S3 bucket, which I've created earlier in the same region where I'm trying to create the app flow. For the additional settings, I'll keep everything as default. And for the flow trigger, I would uh, choose the option of running it on demand. I'll click next. Now in the map data details section, in order to simplify everything, I will just map all the fields directly instead of choosing it individually, which is also an option. I'll skip the validation section as it is optional. And I'll also skip the filter section, which is also optional. I'll click next. In the review and create section, I'll make sure that what I've selected earlier all looks correct to me. And then I will click on create flow to create the flow. So the flow got created. I can run the flow in order to start consuming all my conversations from Slack and write it to S3. Once the flow finishes its run successfully, I can view the data by clicking on the S3 bucket. So I'm able to see the file which got created. In order to run sentiment analysis on the text we consumed on Amazon S3 bucket, I will make use of the SageMaker Studio. In order to do that, navigate to the Amazon SageMaker console and click on the SageMaker Studio. Provide a username, let's say AppFlow demo user, and choose an execution role. Click on create a role if you don't have a role. Click create role. So this will create an IAM role. So let's open the IAM role. In the IAM role, as you can see, it has the SageMaker full access, but we also need to make sure that it has permissions to call the comprehend. So click on attach policy and search for comprehend. Click on the comprehend full access and click on attach policy to attach the policy to the existing IAM role. Go back to the SageMaker console, click on the IAM role which we just created and click submit. You will see a message on top of your screen indicating that the SageMaker Studio is ready to be used. Over here, I'm using the SageMaker Studio, but feel free to use the notebook instances as well. The same thing would work. Click on the Open Studio link to open up the Studio in a new tab. Over here, I've already uploaded a notebook which is called Slack Sentiment. Let's open this notebook. What this notebook does is that first it imports all the necessary libraries. It installs the file system interface for S3. It sets up the bucket name and the key in order for it to read the data from S3. It calls the comprehend API, which is the detect sentiment for sentiment analysis. And then after it reads everything and detects the sentiment, it will display all the records on the screen. So let's go ahead and run it. Click on run, click on run all cells. As you can see, it is able to display all of the records in the SageMaker notebook. It is able to detect the sentiment for the text. It is able to do a count on the sentiments. And it is also able to display a chart or a pie for the sentiment. So that's it.
Thank you for listening.